Amazon's Echo Dot, or Apple's HomePod Mini. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing these two devices together, taking a look at their features, and helping you decide which is the best for you. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does, and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So we're taking a look at two of the newest smart speakers from Amazon and from Apple. So we've got the Amazon Echo Dot fourth generation, comparing it to Apple's brand new HomePod mini. Both of these devices have a very similar look, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. With that said, let's get started. The Echo Dot has four physical buttons. Each one is a different shape. So if it's dark or if you're just not looking at the device, it's gonna be easier to tell which button you're pushing. Now, Apple has gone with a touch display. There's gonna be a volume up, a volume down, and you can tap to play and pause music. Now, in addition to the controls on the top of the device, you can also use your voice to control both of these devices with their native voice assistant. Amazon is going to have Alexa and Apple is going to have Siri. Both devices light up when they're listening for commands. The HomePod is going to glow on the top, letting you know that Siri is listening, where the Echo device has a bright blue ring on the bottom to reflect off the surface and make it easier to tell when it is listening. Now, something that you're not gonna see on the HomePod mini is an auxiliary port on the back. This does, however, come on the Echo Dot. So this is going to allow you to plug in an additional speaker or a full-blown sound system to get better audio out of that device. Listening to music is another big draw to have one of these devices right here. And both devices thrive very well in their own ecosystems. The HomePod mini has Apple Music where the Echo Dot has Amazon Music. If music is your thing and you are subscribed to either one of those streaming services, I would recommend going with the device that represents those. Now, in addition to their own streaming services, both of these devices work with a lot of the major streaming services out there like Pandora. Now, another thing that I wanna mention specifically with the HomePod mini is that this being in the Apple ecosystem is that you do have to have an Apple device with iOS to control it. So that's either going to be an iPhone or an iPad. Now with the Echo Dot, you can use any type of phone to control this device right here. But with your iPhone or iPad, the HomePod mini is really easy to control. You're gonna load up the Home app and select the iPod mini that you wanna control. From there, you can select music, control volume, and even skip tracks. If you swipe up from there, it's going to bring up all the other controls and features that you can do with that device. Now to more quickly access these settings, what you can do is unlock your iPhone, and if either the iPhone or the HomePod mini is playing music, you can bring the phone closer to the HomePod mini. You're gonna get a notification on the top of your device that says what song is being played. If you tap on that, it's going to bring up the HomePod mini settings and features. So that's just a quicker way to get to those settings. Another thing that you can do if you bring your phone closer to the speaker is you can actually transfer music between the phone and the HomePod mini. And that's gonna be done through AirPlay. So whether the music is being played on the HomePod mini and you wanna transfer it to your phone, you just tap your phone. Or if the music is being played on your phone and you wanna put it on this speaker, you just tap your phone to the speaker and it will automatically transfer that music over. And that's going to be music, podcasts, anything that you're listening to on those devices. Now with the Echo devices, you're gonna have more options for streaming and that includes Apple Music. Yes, you can use Apple Music on this device. Spotify is another big service that works with Amazon devices. It allows you to use voice actions to play your Spotify playlists, and it also lets you use Spotify Connect services. So you can control this device directly through the Spotify app. If sound quality is a selling point for you, then I would recommend the HomePod mini. Both devices fill a room nicely with music, but with Echo, you also have the option of tweaking the EQ settings to dial in your sound preferences. I noticed at higher volume levels, the Echo Dot was more distorted than the HomePod mini, but 
Considering the price between these two points, I'm actually not that surprised. Between these two devices, the HomePod Mini had a crisper sound and was a clear winner to me. There are really two paths that you can take when picking one of these speakers for smart home use. You can either go with the ecosystem that has the most compatible devices. Amazon is compatible with over 85,000 devices, comparing that to Apple's poultry 450 plus HomeKit devices. Now the other path that you can prioritize is privacy and Apple is a clear winner here. Now because Apple has such a high priority on privacy, is a big reason why there are not so many devices in the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. It is just much harder to get a device approved in the Apple ecosystem compared to the Amazon Echo, which apparently seems everyone can get into. Now there are some big trade-offs when it comes to that. Even though Amazon has a lot more devices, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. For example, Amazon Echo devices have a ton of different doorbell options. Out of the dozens and dozens of options out there for a video doorbell at your door, most of them work with Alexa. Where on the flip side, Apple's HomeKit really only has one doorbell as of the recording of this video, and that's the Logitech Circle doorbell. So there are not a lot of options with this one right here, but the options that you do have in the HomeKit environment seem to be a little bit better. Let me show you an example of my Ecobee thermostat. If we bring up the Apple HomeKit and take a look at my Ecobee thermostat, I can do things like change the mode from off, on, and auto, and adjust the temperature from within the app there. But if I take a look at this exact same Ecobee thermostat in the Amazon Alexa app, if my thermostat is off, I have zero control over it. I can't turn it on, I can't turn it off, I can't set it to auto, I can't adjust the temperatures at all, which renders it pretty much useless. What I have to do is I have to manually turn on my thermostat either through the Ecobee app or walking up to my thermostat and turning it on. Once I have it on and my mode set, I can then adjust temperatures in the Amazon Alexa app. So pretty big difference in an ecosystem that has a lot of options with not as much functionality to an ecosystem that has less options but works a little bit better within their ecosystem. Now, a few other things to mention about both of these devices right here is that you can broadcast messages from them, or if you've got two of one of these, you can use them as intercoms to talk to each other in different rooms. And you can do other things like ask the weather, set timers, set alarms, different things like that. Those are all pretty standard things among smart home speakers. So when it comes to deciding which speaker is best for you, it's gonna come down to a few options. First one is going to be price. In this comparison, Echo is the clear winner here. It goes on sale a lot. In addition to that, it's also half the price of the HomePod mini. Next thing to consider is speakers. Comparing these two together, the Apple HomePod mini is a clear winner here. Now for smart home, it's kind of divided. It depends on your preference. If you want something that just has a ton of options and pretty much any smart device that you buy out there is gonna be compatible with it, then the Amazon Echo is gonna be the way to go. But if privacy is more your thing and you want things to be kept private with end-to-end -end encryption, then the Apple HomePod mini is the way to go. Well, I hope this video helps you make a decision on which device to pick up. If you wanna know more about either one of these devices, check out the link below to reviews.org. If you guys wanna see more from me, check out my YouTube channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of cool tech reviews. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, I want to thank you for joining me here at reviews.org, and I'll see you in the next video.